Here, number one is once you're seated, please remain so because we're going to turn the lights off and these floors are wet. We just don't want you to slip. Uh, the other thing is optional, it's up to you. If you have a flash on your camera or phone, you may want to turn that off. We're going to have a lot of lights up in front, and they tell me sometimes that can cause a distortion. But that again, that's up to you. So if everybody's ready, here we go. <laughs> This is one of the largest formations in the world. It's called the Stage Curtain. Some 70 feet high, 25 foot thick, and 35 feet across, estimated to be 70 million years old. Now, with every stage, you've got to have a backstage area to get your, where you get dressed, and you've got to have a part of the curtain for your entertainers to come out. And we also have a 15-foot orchestra pit for those hot summer nights. For the hot summer nights when we have overflow crowds, we've got a balcony right above you. And every theater needs to have a chandelier. Ours happens to be made out of stalactites. Now in 1946, the governor of Missouri came down with the state legislature and they took a tour of the caverns. They were actually here to welcome back the World War II veterans. Uh, while they were here, they all took a tour. Uh, the governor was so impressed that he came back the next year and this time he brought with him a couple gifts for us. One was a light bulb uh, that when energized would project the flag right up in the middle of the stage curtain. The other one was a very unusual gift. It was the opera singer from those days. Her name was Kate Smith. And her big song was God Bless America. Well, they stood Miss Kate right at the party of the curtains and she stood there all day and sang God Bless America to every tour that came through. Well, since that time, we've lost the legal rights to play Kate Smith and our light bulb burned out and we could not get that replaced. So we've got a young lady that took care of that for us. Now we, de we dedicate this part of our tour to any veterans or first responders. If you're in either one of those groups, we can't say thank you enough.
That's it.